Hello, folks. Time for another video. And shave. Yes, we are. Okay. Now. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm shaving with a new scent for me. And uh, I believe it's new for also for Sterling. It is their creamy coconut. Now, I had a favorite coconut scented shaving soap. I still have it. It's by Teller Volbond. It was my favorite coconut until this. Now, this just isn't coconut. And I've seen two of my buddy, my YouTube buddies do videos on this. I've seen Jimmy from NYC Shaving. And I've seen Chris from IMCDB use this soap. Unless, I don't know. I know they were probably around in the 70s. But you know what I get out of this? Besides the awesome coconut scent, this to me is classic Hawaiian tropic tanning oil. Now, you know, I'm from New Jersey, so I grew up on the Jersey Shore. And all the girls, even some guys back in the 70s. I know I was only like 10 or 11, you know, in the late 70s there. But this reminds me of Hawaiian tropic sun tanning oil. Or lotion, but more of it was that oil that they would just slather all over themselves. This is almost an exact match from what I remember. Nike says my nose is probably messed up, but because those other two guys didn't even mention it. But oh, I love this. This this is now my favorite coconut scented shaving soap. There, I have a, a bunch of others that have the coconut in it, but this is just so reminiscent of the beach for me. The Jersey Shore. Okay, so I have that already whipped up in the Captain's Choice Bowl. Thank you, my buddy Wes. And I'm using a brush craft. I just felt like I wanted to go like sea glass. So I'm using that brush craft, brush craft brush that my buddy Josh sent me. Reminds me of sea glass from the Jersey Shore. And um, I think brush craft is on a hiatus, I believe. But I'll leave the link to his stuff down below. And yes, oh God, this is just so reminiscent. Yeah, I did. Actually, I ordered it. So I was going to originally order it from uh, Sterling, but I saw that Pastores had it. And I had problems in the past ordering from Pastores. After I made a couple orders, for some reason, they weren't taking my credit card. So I just set up a new account, deleted my old account. And what was awesome is they had that in stock. And I ordered it on a Sunday and I had it the next day. So there you go. Awesome stuff. And I'm using the Razor Rock Eco today with that Putali pack of wood handle. And there's the Razor Rock Eco. You can see the blade there. And the blade I'm using is the blades that they send with the Eco if you buy it from an Italian barber or the Crown Half DE blades. I know some people don't like this blade, but I find this blade pretty good in that razor. One thing I have to be careful of is I have a huge bug bite or bee sting or something that bit me when I was outside in my wife's garden the other day. So we got to remember that. I probably won't. I'll probably whoosh, samurai that thing right off. All right. So let's just wet the face because it's been about 20 minutes since my shower. And yes, I'm really enjoying this scent. I mean, of course, it's sterling, so it's going to have great performance on the soap but this scent is phenomenal it kind of reminds me a little bit of boat drinks from sterling but just more heavier on the coconut there's a couple soaps out there that do remind me of hawaiian tropic like sun tanning oil but for some reason this one hits home for me. And it's not, they don't claim that at all. It just says creamy coconut. I think it just says like it's coconut with a little bit of something. It doesn't say what something is, but man. My opinion is Hawaiian Tropic tanning oil. I know I can't say it enough. But yeah. Kind of reminds me of the summer that Jaws came out. And we're all down the shore. My parents have a my parents have a vacation home down the shore. 
on the Jersey Shore at the end of the boardwalk there, so. Great stuff, and I got a creamy lather. Mmm. Today is Tuesday. So, I'm, usually I'd maybe post this on Wednesday, but it's late in the day. Maybe I'll put it up today for your viewing pleasure. Like I said, I did see Jimmy from NYC Wet Shaving use this soap. And Chris from IMCDB. So, I'm jumping on the bandwagon just because it's so awesome of a scent. It's a very nice scent. I actually washed all my shaving related towels. I actually washed my little sink towel here that I put on the sink. I washed the Lancaster towel. So I was pretty busy. Razor Rock Eco. Putali. Packwood handle. Oh, that feels great. Nice feedback, too. Yeah, I was helping my wife put some posts up in her garden so the vines can grow on them. And something got me good in the neck. At first, I thought it was like a wasp, but I think it was just a, a mosquito. But man, it itched. And of course, I was scratching it like, you know, I'm two years old. I'll tell you what, I really love the feedback of this razor because the head is so light. It just resonates the sound. Even though I can hear the TV blaring in the room right next to this bathroom. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. I love it. Really enjoying this scent. Like I said, my nose. Depicts this creamy coconut. As. A vintage. Hawaiian Tropic sun tanning lotion or oil, I should say. But it's nice. That was nice. And of course, you can't go wrong with the Sterling base. It is great. Awesomely priced, too. I mean, for 5.8 ounces, how can you go wrong? It's only $13 and change for 5.8 ounces. Wow. My face feels awesome already. There's a lot of noise coming out of the living room today. Sorry if you guys are hearing it. Because I know the microphone on my camera is super sensitive. And the air conditioning came on, thank God, because I was about to die in here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad that after I redid my account at Pastors, you know, Pharmacy in New York, I was able to order it online. And it's way a lot cheaper than if I actually drove to Pastores, even though 
Pastores is less than 30 minutes from me. The bridge and tunnel tolls would cost me a ton of money compared to the bare minimum that I was charged for shipping. And it arrived in one day. That is stellar for me. Plus, on the credit card, it comes up as Pastores Pharmacy. And not shaving supplies. <laughs> so I don't have to explain myself. Alrighty. A little against the grain or whichever which way. Because my hair is in my neck grow. Now my neck grow like 20 different directions. And that is such a great feedback that I hear here. You might not hear it as well at home because of all the background noise here, but for me, well, I think I hear the grandkids. They're supposed to be going on a journey soon to, I think, North Carolina. So we might have some peace and quiet in the upcoming week. That is so good, so good. By the way, we've been having the craziest weather up here. It's been super duper hot. But it's been raining and then sunny. Kind of feels like Florida. <laughs> A little bit. I think I just got myself there. I was pushing a little bit, you know, because I do. Ah, uh, but you know, what you gonna do? I feel like the inspector here. Look at my neck, looks like it's kind of chewed up a little bit. I'm surprised I didn't nail that bug bite. It's freaking huge. Yeah, I chopped up my chin here pretty good, though. Hey, you know, we got at least I'm nice and close shaven there. There we go. I think I'm good. I think I am good, good, good. I'm going to empty Sigmund, the old sea monster sink. Wipe up the old counter that I got soaking wet. Oh, yeah. In fact, I think I saw Jimmy. I heard Jimmy sing the other day. Look at that. I got some... I got some daggage there. But, hey. What you gonna do with daggage, huh? It's okay. All right. Let me just do a quick little rinse of the sink because it's looking a bit fuzzy. Turn the water to nice and cold. Yeah, ladder down in the old ears. Oh, I am slick. Slicker than slick. I think I'm gonna hit myself with some alum since I got a little dag there. So I'm not gonna dry myself, dry my face. I'm gonna take out the old Omega Elm Stick, which I really haven't been using lately because I haven't had these kind of little doodads. That was totally my fault because I was pushing. I was pushing on my chin right there. Oh, yeah. That'll wake you up. Some stinging. That was a close one for me. I rubbed that on the old bug bite because alum is great, by the way, for bug bites or bee stings or stuff like that. It's a great antiseptic. There we go. 
go. If you get it on your lips, you get that salty feeling. Actually, like you're in the ocean. I like the Omega stick. I mean, I have plenty of different kind of albums, but I just like it because it has that nice little handle and reminds me of a roll-on kind of a deal. All right, I think I'm going overboard here with the album. I'm just going to wipe that off of my shirt. <laughs> dry it off. I just put it away with the cap a little loose just so it'll dry. So that was the Omega album stick. It helps with me learning how I daggage up. And the funny part is I am on blood thinners, and some guys want to DE shave because they're afraid that if they cut themselves, they're going to bleed to death. But as you see, I nicked myself a couple times, and it's not like a faucet of blood coming out. So I just put a little alum on there, let it sit there for a little while while I go over my shave for you folks. So that was Sterling's creamy coconut which boy does this scent take me back it really does and i use the brush craft i call it the sea glass i don't really know what the name of this brush was i just like this brush reminds me of the sea glass we used to dig up at the jersey shore and uh great brush and i used the captain's choice sandstorm ball that my buddy wes sent me thank you wes for this awesome captain's choice ball it serves me well. It's a perfect size because the, my Thomas bowl is huge. So when I have a smaller size brush, you know, it's just the perfect size for, uh, you know, for doing the lather there. Just a good size. Good deal. Look at that creamy lather. That's good stuff. Mm. Hawaiian Tropic, baby. Now that's what I personally get out of it. You may get a different scent, but it's so awesome. And I used the Razor Rock Eco today with the Putali pack of wood handle. It's a wooden handle. Awesome deal. And there was a crown, half the E blade in there. There's the blade. And yeah, that was good. Now I'm going to just quickly do a quick rinse of the alum. stuff and the Lancaster towel which I just washed that out by hand the other day I don't like to take my shaving towels and put them in the regular house laundry because my wife uses fabric softener and I know in these microfiber cloths cloths they do clog up the microfiber so this towel is great I call it the water magnet Lancaster towel from Lancaster razor works there was supposed to be a drop. I don't know when the next drop is going to be, but that was the Lancaster towel right there. And I just freshly hand washed it along with a few of my other shaving towels. All right, before I lean up on my counter again, because I don't know, I'm just a slob when it comes to water. All right, so as you can see, there's a couple little spots there, the alum attacked them and did a pretty good job and now my face is uh, uh, and all that slickness is gone of course but why not go for the matching aftershave splash from Sterling the creamy coconut oh this is gonna be awesome if I can get it to come out of the bottle Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, this just reminds me of Hawaiian Tropic from the 70s. Like around 76, 77. You know, the 1900s. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh, that was good. Mm. That's awesome. So that was the matching splash, the creamy coconut from Sterling. Yes. And here's the best part. For the price of the soap and the splash, 
it's it was less expensive than other artisans just for the soap so and since i ordered it through pastors i had it in a day usually if i order from sterling it takes a few because it's coming from arkansas but since new york city is only about 25 30 miles from me i had it in one day so that was a score all right folks so if you enjoyed today's sterling creamy coconut shave thumbs up if you didn't like it pff, you can tell me i'm a big boy i can take criticism and please subscribe for some reason i lost a whole bunch of subscribers so i don't know if it's because i stink or if it's some kind of glitch in the youtube world but please subscribe and yeah so until next save stay safe out there and glenn signing off mm -hmm.